All right, I'm going to try to watch this movie. All based off this one part in the trailer. Um, if you don't know this about me, it's very difficult for me to watch any TV show or movie uh, for about the last eight years or so. Um, it just is what it is. It's hard. I, uh, I saw an episode of Jessica Jones the other day. Uh, and while I got through it, um, there's quite a few fucking things that uh, still stick to me. Um, I guess it's PTSD. Uh, it seems to be the, the easiest way to fucking explain it. But something like this, this particular movie, I think I can actually get through. One, because it's all horrible. Two, it's a fucking movie movie. Now, one of the things about fucking movies is they say once you fucking study it, you can't watch movies ever again. Um, and... In advertising, part of my studying, I had to take a lot of classes that, or a fairly good amount of classes that were, um, that were movie classes, like uh, the behind the scenes editing, being on set, shit like that, um, screenplays and things like that, um, sound and things like this, props, where you could tell that that is a clear water, uh, so that's not just, you know, it's not urine, and then B, uh, they, they have a little hose, uh, because if she actually did piss her pants, um, you would be able to see the, uh, the water would be coming from farther up during the leg, um, so yeah, it's just one of those fucking things where, uh, I feel as if, yo, I could actually fucking, you know, try to get through this movie, um, and I think it may actually be a good thing to try to just get through a movie, uh, cause one of the problems with having this type of PTSD is that, um, it's difficult to, like, I think maybe 20 minutes is my max for the most part of being able to, like, focus on something, um, like a TV show or, or, or movie or anything, um, fucking shit, fire department somewhere, um, yeah, I've made, I've been able to make it through a movie here and there, but it's been, it's been kind of disappointing because usually what ends up happening is there'll be some other fucking theme that'll come out of it that'll kind of like linger with me that'll like like the J the Jessica Jones thing there was a it just is what it is there was like a scene in there that is still lingering with me because like I want to talk about it I want to there's just it's just a lot of shit right um, so it's like it's fucking it just sucks because it's it's difficult to like make it through a movie whatever but it's kind of chill that I just saw this movie. Uh, it seems like something I want to see. I will get into this real quick because the whole thing about it is the person who posted about this movie, I wasn't going to fucking say anything, now I am, um, is this guy, uh, Tuan. Um, he's, he has a meme page up in uh, New York or whatever. Um, just recently I posted about the fact that uh, it had felt as if uh, very truly in all these years, like about eight years of my, of, of my life, eight years of living right now, uh, it felt as if I hadn't really made any friends or or knew anything felt confident about anything basically right and then like the other day he posted something it really made me feel like yo i actually feel as if i have a friend in the world as odd as it is whatever that's the, it's just the facts right so that's the, that's the facts but then this morning something else happened which made me realize that yo you know, realistically, you know, besides Tuan, because the whole thing about Tuan is, um, there's a shit about it, right? So let's get into fucking real shit. He was like, yo, I love your fucking page. You keep it real as fuck. And I'm like, yo, this is the thing about, to me, about when a New Yorker says to you, keeping it real, like you keep it real. To me, I think it's a really good compliment or it's something really, it's not just like when anybody else says you keep it real. And this is the reason why I say this. Um, when I was about somewhere in elementary school, so I don't know, anywhere between the age of like 7 to 11 or so in there, um, I saw a dude kill himself. Uh, basically, I was looking out the window. It overlooked this overpass of the highway. This guy, literally, he just he was on the overpass for like a minute. Nobody else was around. Um, I saw him put the rope. He like, he, 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 um, he like whatever you call that, like uh, he hooked up the rope or whatever and then jumped off, hung himself um, from the thing. Um, and then I told my, uh, I told my great grandmother who was there. Um, and then we watched for a while because like, yo, like, you know, it ended up happening. Like they called the ambulance, all that kind of shit. Right. So real shit. Um, there was another time where, uh, whatever. Anyway, the point with that being is 
real, real shit, real shit feels surreal. Is what I'm trying to get at. So like, like when somebody's saying that you mad real, that means that you, they don't know what's going on with you up to a certain point. Like you feel surreal, like because most real shit is is real. Like the more real you are, the more other people are confused and and and, and are weirded out by what's happening because. That's what happens the more real it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, why people say, oh, time slows down in an accident or shit like that. Um, my voice is kind of going, it's, um, it's fucking real shit, right? So, like, I want to be like, yo, there's a part of me that's like, yo, that's why I'm saying, yo, cool. Like, he's like a friend of mine or whatever, where it feels friendly because that, to me, that's a compliment. But the thing is, looking at every, you know, everybody else looking at that, how does that look? Like, I'm literally looking for fucking help. He's following my account, even though I'm saying, yo, I'm not looking for followers. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm excusing. I'm, I'm Basically, I'm excusing it. I'm like, yo, all right, he's younger. He's in New York. He's got a meme page. He's not. There's nothing that indicates that he's trying to have any kind of like whatever. And basically, I can't front on it. Like, I feel like I can't front on it. I mostly feel like I can't front on it. Like, it's not a big deal. Like, it's not something I need to talk about. It's not something I need, you know, whatever. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, is what I'm saying. It's like, yo, what, what's the, what's the need for all this confusion? I just don't fucking get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause, like as much as I'm like, yo, cool, that's really fucking nice to like, for somebody to be like, yo, you a real nigga, you know, do you keep it real, blah blah blah. If they're not being sarcastic, to me, to me, one, that's not something you say sarcastically. At least not, not. Now without it being known, you know what I mean? Very clear. Like, in other words, I wouldn't necessarily just say that on an internet comment because, you know, it can be maybe taken the wrong way. Uh, I would say that, you know, maybe in person or somebody where you could kind of tell whether I'm being serious or not or if I'm being sarcastic, right? Um, but, you know, he's leaving that comment on the internet where it's like, all right, I feel like, yo, I get it. You know what I'm saying? In the sense of... From my understanding, even just from his post and just a lot of other things, it seems as if he wouldn't say that to me without it being like a real statement. Like, in other words, he wouldn't be like, yo, I like your page, you keep it real. If he didn't really mean, I like your page and keep it, you keep it real, right? That also, to me, says that he's giving me, you know, what more do I expect from him? You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, he is qualified to fucking... Literally just all I'm asking is fucking call the police department and be like, yo, why the fuck aren't you saying shit? Doesn't seem like, again, that's where I'm confused too. That doesn't seem like a taboo thing to ask someone. You know what I mean? Like, it seems like the general public is usually uh, more than willing to want to keep cops accountable and be like, yo, you, why'd you fuck over this person or that person? Um, so yeah, he is more than qualified. Um, but at the same time, you know, for me... Even between like, yo, this movie recommendation, the comment that he said, yo, I like your page, you're keeping it real. To me, I feel like he's he's doing everything. But then if I don't say anything, I feel like people may be confused on it. Because um, the fact is, he is more than well qualified to be able to help in other ways besides just doing that. Um, and there is a certain amount of weirdness, at least for me, not to at least say it. Not to at least try to be like, yo, really, what the fuck, yo? Because it's not, that's the whole thing. It's like, I'm not trying to have beef. But also, like, do you at least understand, like, you're being confusing, if not to me, at least to other people, and that's kind of weird. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It's like this weird position where it's like, I don't know what the resolution is. Because to me, it would be as simple as, like, yo, if I was on the opposite end of this, A, the more I would actually listen. So that, there's that. And who knows if, you know, he's even listening to this, whatever. Um... But B, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, who knows? Because maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I wouldn't. So it's just, it's also that too. But if I did, then it's like, yo, then I would, I would literally be like, yo, could you please clarify exactly what's going on as best as you can or whatever? Uh, or something, something, something along those lines instead of leaving it to be this weird fucking like, oh, this is just all about the internet. There's no, you know, like, I think it's like, to me, because this is what it comes down to. Now I'm starting to feel selfish. Because it's like, yo, if I could respect the fact that you got a life outside of the internet, I understand this is just so you have a meme page, and that's basically how I've interacted with you. But to me, you know, if, as, as if I'm talking to Twan, you know, to me, it's like, yo, you know, you're, you're acting as if 
you don't think I have a life outside of it too. You get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like you're acting as if my, the only thing that could be possibly happening is some internet shit and then nothing in real life by ignoring the fact that, yo, now it's been a while. You know what I'm saying? I have fucking said different shit. Um, you know, things that would be worthy of, of, of being like, yo, obviously there's more going on than just some internet shit. Let me get past that. Anyway, let me get past this. Point being... I'm going to try to watch that movie because um, I think it may be a good thing for me. Um, even though it's like this horrible, it seems like a horrible movie about the end of the world, all this shit. Um, I don't, I think it may not trigger any PTSD if, if that's what it is going on kind of symptoms um, that even watching fucking a Marvel like universe episode fucking did for me. And like even the heroes, like I like heroes, can't fucking watch heroes anymore because it just, it's just, it's this weird shit that intertwines to like my actual real life uh, where this, if it's going to intertwine with my real life is everybody's real life. And so, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of cool that fucking, um, also, along with other things, I haven't heard of a, mu- a movie suggestion in a very long time that I thought to myself, I think I could actually watch that movie and enjoy it, and it's coming from this fucking person. So, uh, I don't know. I do think that there's a certain amount of irony in that, um, but I don't know. Moving on, I'm going to actually try to find it, and um, if I could watch it, I could watch it because I haven't actually searched to see if I could stream it or whatever, but um, that's what I'm going to end up doing, Hopefully, hopefully today.